How does the lethal injection kill you? The exact method used depends on the state, but it's usually done by a three-drug system. First, the inmate is tied to a gurney and an IV line is hooked up to a vein in both arms. They'll then start to administer the first drug, an anesthetic. Within seconds, the inmate will start to lose consciousness and within five minutes, they should be completely unconscious. Just I need you to open your eyes for me, okay? Just can you hear me? The inmate is unresponsive. At which point they'll then move on to the second drug, a neuromuscular blocker. This paralyzes you from head to toe, stopping you from moving and most importantly stopping your lungs from working. Meaning at this point the inmate will no longer be able to breathe. Lastly, a third drug is administered that causes the inmate's heart to start beating irregularly before stopping altogether. Assuming everything was done correctly, the inmate should be dead within 10 minutes of the first injection. But this isn't always the case. Joe Nathan James has the unfortunate record of having the longest execution in history, taking three hours as they struggled to set the IV lines. But that's very uncommon. As of 2014, only 7.12% of executions via lethal injections ended up botched.